now that I'm done giving you a seizure and mama has her go-go juice, the stage is set. Enter stage bottom. <laughs> a young twink of 20 years old, <coughs> me, enters the 24-hour fitness across the street from Starbucks in West Hollywood. You know the one I'm talking about, all you Los Angeleans. Though this twinkle twinkle little star does not live in LA, he is visiting during the summer of 2015 and needs somewhere to exercise. And what does he see inside of this gym? But a sea of homosexual body dysmorphic muscle queens. That was a little mean, I'm sorry. Hello everybody, my name is Pano and I'm extremely caffeinated right now. So I was just at the gym and I was walking on the treadmill and I started thinking about just like gyms in general, across the broad spectrum of fitness places to work out, you know? And I did genuinely start to naturally think about the gyms that I used to go to when I would go visit out in LA. I haven't gone out to LA this past summer, but I have visited like every summer since I graduated high school and I'm in my last semester of college now, so it's been pretty few times, quite a few times, pretty few. That's not even a thing, Pano, go you. And as I was moving my legs left, right, left, right, going uphill on this treadmill monotonously, I looked to my left and I look to my right, and what do I see? Two old women. And you know what? There's something calming about the presence of two elderly women <laughs> exercising next to you. Especially after having experienced <laughs> a gay gym. Now obviously gyms aren't created exclusively for gay people. I mean, I mean, I don't know, maybe they are somewhere, but as far as my perception of gyms go, gyms are just a, you know, unisex kind of place where anybody can go and sign up and go get their pump on, go get their run on, you know, whatever feels natural. But with that said, I feel like these open to anybody universal gyms very easily turn into gay gyms when they're planted in the middle of a very heavily populated gay neighborhood. For example, West Hollywood, which is like the epicenter for all things gay. Philly has like one gay gym. It's called the 12th Street Gym. I don't know if any of you are from Philly and have heard of it, but it's like in the middle of our neighborhood and I've been to it a few times, but it's like not the gym that I go to. And it's kind of funny because I think there's a culture that is distinctly different in a gay gym than there is in a straight gym, or straight gym, yeah, that's a thing. In a gym that attracts more heterosexual, non-queer people, you know? And the culture was really similar in the LA gay gym as it was to the Philadelphia gay gym. And I'm not here to impose my opinion on people about what these gay gyms are like, I'm just here to offer my experience <laughs> in a gay gym. <laughs> Especially having gone to them at such a young age, I mean, I think the first time I ever went to a gay gym, I was like 19, and trust me, when you're that young, insecure, <laughs> it's a very overwhelming experience being surrounded by so many beautifully muscled and toned, attractive men and women alike. I think the one thing I cannot get over is the self-indulgent posing in front of the mirror. And I know that's like universal across like any gym, it really is. But especially amongst these homos, let me tell you. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, it's perfectly natural to flex in front of the mirror. I do it myself, but like in the privacy of my own bathroom, you know, I feel like that's a space where it's appropriate to do it. But let me tell you, I was definitely very astounded, slightly turned on, a little put off, mostly turned on, by some of these guys that blatantly pull up their shirts in front of the mirror and just let their rippling washboard abs shine. I mean, kudos to that guy for not giving a shit and having the confidence to do that in front of like everybody, but at the same time, you know everybody who's not that way is looking at that person and thinking, douchebag. But that's irrelevant. What I really wanted to talk about was all the underlying sexual tension you can feel, and maybe I'm imagining it all in my own head, but I feel like everybody at a gay gym is constantly checking each other out while checking themselves out. And it's overwhelming. It's distracting and overwhelming, let me tell you. You can't avoid making eye contact with like everybody in the gym. And to be real, that's like pretty common at any gym you go to, even if it wasn't a gay gym. But what gets me is the prolonged eye contact. Like you're staring into the eyes of an animal, like a fierce, ferocious lion in competition for dominance. Except there's like these like weird sexual undertones. Like you're two lions that may like bite each other at the neck and then like immediately proceed to fuck. And again, maybe I'm overanalyzing everything, but also maybe I'm not. I remember going to the 24 hour fitness in West Hollywood the summer of 2015 because I was staying in LA that summer with two of my friends. I was 20 years old and easily the youngest person in that whole place. Which immediately makes you feel uncomfortable, being 20 and surrounded by like, you know, 25 to 35 year olds who are all like beautiful. I have this distinct memory of walking to go get a sip of water from the water fountain and locking eyes with this guy and just not breaking it. 
and we held each other's gaze for like five seconds. And the entire time my heart was like, <laughs> so nervous. And then he smiled at me. And that kind of broke my trance. I panicked and I scowled at him and literally like turned the other way because I was so just like embarrassed and like didn't know what to do. And in retrospect, I just think it's so funny because so many of the guys in there are attracted to the other guys in there. And it really makes me believe that people have had actual like steam room experiences. Cause I always just thought that was something that happened in TV shows, but obviously not because naturally something like that would happen, I think. Hasn't happened to me, unfortunately. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> gay gyms, <laughs> can't live with them. Can't live without them. Actually, you easily could live without them. <laughs> I don't know. I just wanted to come on here and talk about something that I was thinking about for like the 30 minutes I was walking on the treadmill. And hopefully you guys weren't totally bored by this little commentary I had. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Even if you didn't like it, give it a goddamn thumbs up anyway. And leave me a comment telling me about your own experiences like in gyms, gay gyms, seeing hot guys, fucking hot guys. Thanks for watching this video, everybody. Until next time. Please go follow me at these links, please, please. Thank you, go follow me, please, thank you.